Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, uh, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have Nine of Air with Justice. Someone's having some mental anguish here, uh, feeling as if all hope is lost, wanting to make things right or fairness. Feeling as if uh, things have been very unfair or unbalanced. We have repression. Someone does not express how they truly feel with guilt. Yeah, shame, deep remorse over past actions. Yeah, someone's definitely holding back. You possibly have no clue uh, that they are stressing uh, completely out of their mind about this situation. Overall energy, Queen of Cups. This is about a devotion to one as well as... Uh, you know, really opening up emotionally, knowing exactly who that cup belongs to. Uh, but diving deep in the emotional realm. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your energy this week. We have three of wands, queen of wands, ten of swords, and the ten of wands. So there might be, a, may have been some changes here recently or... You know, things shifting in different directions in your home environment. Uh, and they can be quite unsettling here. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a fixed sign or you have that in your chart. But uh, it, I am picking up here possibly a Leo too you could be dealing with in your life causing stress. I do see that, you know, there are some people or a situation in love here that has made you feel like, uh, you hit rock bottom or betrayed in some sense, and it has made you feel like, okay, enough is enough. I just want to move forward here. I don't want to deal with this mental uh, instability. I just want to move forward, even if it's alone. Okay, so you do have hope here for the horizon. I do see things getting better this week with the three of wands. It's almost like your ships are coming in here. You're starting to see things change in a better direction, even though it's uncomfortable. Okay. I do see in regards to your person, you do feel enough is enough, uh, that it's, you can't go back to how things were. And, uh, there's almost a sense of established energy here that you've overcome this in some way. So let's see what's going on in your person's energy. King of Wands, Hanged Man, and the Page of Cups. So they're coming off uh, as the King of Wands. They're seeing you as their significant other. You're the divine counterpart here, but that you're equal in every sense, that you definitely are their match. But they're wanting a new phase in love to begin. They're feeling a lot of regret here, but wanting to come forward and apologize, okay? They do feel terrible about their actions here. Tell me the Page of Cups. Ace of Wands, Page of Swords, there's something that they need to tell you, they need to get off their chest that uh, you were unaware of or they didn't release this piece of information to you of why they were being held back. So they feel that it was unfair or there was an injustice done to you because of them, uh, but also that there's some information they need to tell you of why they had to do something a specific way. Uh, tell me the Hanged Man. Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Could be financial matters here. Something uh, has hit rock bottom. It, this also could be an actual home environment. Something really unexpected has uh, happened here that they kind of had to release you for the time being or leave this connection in limbo and address it at a later time. But they feel like now so much time has passed, they're really stressing about it, okay? That maybe you're not feeling the same way you do about them as you did in the beginning. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past here. It's almost as if this Queen of Cups is... Uh, it's wondering, you know, does your heart still belong to them? Are you still devoted to them or have you moved on? Five of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Temperance card. So it was a, it was a struggle. 
it was a struggle to communicate with this person. You kind of felt like at times your hands were tied and you had to be very patient as well to wait for them to return or to give you any kind of affirmation that they were still interested in you in this connection, which means uh, when they would come back or communicate, you know, it could have been very passionate, but it really lacked some substance or it lacked some type of emotional connection. They weren't making an effort to really connect with you that way. Okay, tell me the Five of Wands. Star, Four of Cups. They could have been argumentative with you as well as they would uh, talk to you. But I see that it was such a disappointment. It's almost like they let you down on every level in this situation. They would always say something or, you know, make you feel like they were going to do this or be this type of person for you, really support you. But they ended up uh, being the opposite, okay? Especially with the Four Cup Star, it's almost like, why did I get myself involved in this? It has only caused me heartache. It almost felt like all hope was lost as well. Tell the Four Cups. Seven of Cups, leaving you frustrated and very confused. But at the time, this person was also disappointed being held back from communicating with you. I'm seeing this person's hands were tied as well. Uh, and they weren't really honest with you letting you know why. Okay, so let's see what the challenge is. Let's get some more details. Nine of Wands, Two of Cups, and the Magician. Well, this person definitely felt like they met the one. Uh, you definitely um, affected or impacted their heart space here in a deep way where no one really has. Magician lovers. But with the Magician, they definitely put on this performance, okay? always making you feel lackluster in this situation uh, for the purpose of making you understand that they didn't want to go all in. Okay, so there was a regret as well of them doing this. So as they kept kind of pushing you back and not doing right by you, they were feeling worse about themselves. They were starting to really regret and think that they were not a very good person. And it's something that gave them a lot of anxiety and they started to stress out more and more. But uh, in, when they would stress, they would just be hesitant to really do right by you. Come forward or speak something about it. Tell with the Nine of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, Fool. Yeah, they didn't know if they had it in them or that they would be good enough or that you would accept their truth. Uh, really afraid here to take a risk and uh, jump at this opportunity to be with you in a way where normal relationships could be. Tell with the Magician. Knight of Cups, Four of Swords. It's always like... You know, you could feel there could be a telepathic bond here. I keep picking up this spiritual connection intuitively. Like there's just a knowing without you communicating with each other. You can feel each other's energy. But I am seeing now that they kind of knew that, you know, there's this bond or tele telepathy here where they felt like, okay, they will always be mine. Uh, I know in the end I have to like you know, really make amends or do right here. Uh, but they definitely procrastinated Four of Swords. It's almost like they were always waiting in the wings to do this, to come forward. And uh, they got really scared. They definitely uh, dived into their fears and let their anxiety overwhelm them to not really make that decision. I'm also picking up for some of them, you know, this is the type of energy, this combination where, you know, in communication, you could text someone and then you erase it before you actually send it. So uh, it's that hesitation, always wanting to, but then really kind of freaking out to do the right thing. Okay, so let's see what action they take this week. And I see now, you know, they're, they are scared, hesitant, but their guilt is overwhelming them that they feel like, okay, they're holding themselves accountable and pushing themselves to do this. 
to do something different here to make things right. Tower Ace of Swords Sun. Holy moly, we have an unexpected uh, phone call, uh, clearing the air here or message coming out of the blue that is going to change this connection uh, in a completely different direction. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say to you moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. But if this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.